Hello and greetings everyone. Now a lot of people seem to think that because it's locked down that you don't need to keep studying and you keep thinking well how can I study you know social distancing well this is how you study you go and see a fella uh, own list you take a few books um, and just sit and study and talk about the gods and keep asking each other questions well what was Odin's brothers called? Yeah, you ask me a question now. What was the one who killed Odin? Uh, mistletoe. See, so you, you give each other little quizzes. Um, and I would have been really embarrassed if I'd get that one wrong. Mm, you know. But, <clears throat> you don't, we just normally study books. Um, in fact, we don't normally look at fiction. But there's this book now. This was written by a Facebook friend of mine. I uh, haven't read it yet. It just came today. And I look forward to reading that. That is a fictional book. Um, I don't normally read fictional books, as I say, but the guy's a proper thorough oldest all the way through through and through um he honors the gods um he knows what he's talking about so hopefully i'll say a lot of that in the book so i look forward to reading that over the next week or so because i'm not a fast reader um this is another book i'm looking at at the minute um, about runes and naturally the good old Viking myths, that one. And again, Norse myths and tales. We tend not to, to really read the prose in um, Fuad Eaters that much. Uh, I don't 100% agree with Snorri's take on things. Um, but that's just my opinion, you know. And Totally right. He's a Christian, and he, you know, Iceland have been Christian for a couple of hundred years by the time that was written. Um, but I do value the Havamal, which you wrote. The Havamal, I mean, we've all got one. Who did you get your Havamal off? Yeah. Um, I always give Havamals away to people that show interest, and I tell everyone to do the same. So if someone comes up to, to Mel and says, oh, I want to learn about the gods, or I've got an interest in the gods, so give them a copy of Havamal. It's just the way we do it. I was given mine by a good friend of mine, Ulta. He gave me my first Havamal, and I've carried on the tradition. So get out, get studying. Lots of books. Lots of books. Enjoy the sunshine. Uh, we've had a, a bee that's got a bit heat stroke and uh, well, let's give it some sugar and water. Um, it probably wants mead, but never mind. The, the heat here is unbelievable. We've had three days of storms and cold weather and now we've got a massive heat wave. Um, the weather's pretty bad at the minute. But anyway, there's no excuse not to study. If you can phone a friend, talk about the gods or you can sit and do what we're doing just read and talk and quiz each other um right mel you ready for your next question what did the most handsome man in the world have for breakfast this morning i had porridge <laughs> you knew that was coming didn't you yeah right as you can see, uh, I'm in a much better mood than I was last time I made a video. Um, normally when I get down, it only lasts for a couple of days. And then I get picked back up. Um, going for a nice walk today helped a lot. Right then, hail the gods, hail to you, hail the old father. Well, toodles. Right, toodles everyone, bye. Stay safe.